Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. It's your girl Javaya from Gifting Hands by Javaya. What is up? If this is your first time here, welcome. If you are already part of the Gifted family, welcome back fam. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a super cute graduation grad cap topper using the Caesar Easy Subway HTV. This is the grad cap topper that we are going to be making today. And it is so dope. Like, look at those colors, okay? Easy subly for the win. Easy subly for the win. I'm going to show you how you can make this. Now, this is not going to be a designing tutorial because I did not design this, but I am going to show you how you can create your own grad cap toppers in case you are interested in selling or offering these toppers in your business for the upcoming grads. Y'all, it's the end of June and your girl's still getting graduation orders. So this is a friendly reminder that graduation season is all year round. So if this is something that you are interested in offering, this video is for you. For those of you who do not know what the Caesar Easy Subway HCV is, it is the latest innovation in dye sublimation. It is a matte heat transfer vinyl that is receptive to the dye sublimation inks. So, a little bit of Sublimation 101. The dye sublimation inks were designed to bond to polymer coated or polyester surfaces, substrates, right? That's why we are typically sublimating on poly coated or polyester substrates because that's the way that the inks were designed. So, this um, Easy Subly HTV has a thin layer of coating polymer coating that allows us to use the dye sublimation inks for our projects it has a rough side and it also has a glossy side we will be sublimating on the rough side okay in addition to that the caesar easy subly htv allows us to design and then transfer the design onto cotton garments colored garments cotton and poly blend garments. So this is a game changer for us in the dye sublimation industry. So many people are using this media and having success. It's tons of videos all over YouTube University where people are demonstrating how they use this media. So it is amazing. And today I'm going to show you how I use it for myself. If this is something that you are interested in learning, please stay tuned. Also, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. Turn on the bell for notifications so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. Your engagement, your interaction is going to help this channel grow, which will allow me to bring you more dope content. So I truly appreciate all of you. Now, without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Right, y'all so i'm gonna start off here in silhouette studio i do have silhouette studio business edition the very first thing that i'm going to do is change my canvas size and i'm gonna head on over to open the page setup panel and change my width to 11 inches and my height to 16.5 inches because that is the size of my easy subly htv media now i'm going to go ahead and import my design so i'm going to select file merge and then my design is saved in my downloads folder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and type that in, find it, and then select open to import it onto the canvas. Look at this fire design, y'all. This design is so cute. I love it so much. This is so cute. You see his little face? Okay, so now what I'm going to do is resize the design to the size that I need it to be. Now, this was for a customer of mine, and the customer already had the graduation cap, and she provided me with the dimensions. So the cap is actually nine inches. So I decided to design this design to, I decided to resize this design to 9.15 inches, just to give myself that extra bleed room for full printing, okay? So now what I'm going to do is, select a circle or an eclipse whatever you want to call it and i'm going to just drag it out i'm going to fill this circle in with white color so i'm going to select the fill and then select white and then i'm going to turn off the outline fill color 
I'm going to resize this circle to 0.75 inches by 0.75 inches because that is typically the size that I will need to ensure that the cap top fits perfectly through the design, okay? So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to center my circle in the middle of my design. I'm going to select it and then click center. Now we are ready to print. So I'm gonna go ahead and print this out. Today, I am going to be using my Sawgrass SG-1000 die sublimation printer. And I'm just going to go ahead and adjust the preferences. So I only need one copy. I'm going to change my size to a tabloid size, which is 11 by 17. My orientation is going to be portrait and my pixel density is going to remain at 300 DPI. Then I'm going to select apply and then I'm going to print. Sawgrass print manager is going to populate and then I'm going to go in and adjust my print settings even further. So, I'm going to select material and under substrate, I'm going to select polyester. My print quality is going to be high quality. My paper is going to be text print R paper and my source is going to be my bypass tray. Don't forget to mirror your image. Then I'm going to select color and change the color mode from photographic to vivid. This design is more of a cartoon, cartoony design and so vivid is suitable for this design. I'm going to click print and then I'm going to print this out. All right, y'all, so here is my printed image I printed on Wallasub dye sublimation paper. I'll be sure to leave everything used in the video down below in the description for you in case you are interested in trying out these products, okay? I have a piece of 12 by 12 cardstock. This is 65 pound cardstock from the Recollections brand from Michaels. But if you have heavier cardstock, 85 pounds or higher, that would be perfect for this project. I have my Easy Subly vinyl here. Um, there's a rough side and then there is a glossy side, okay? So we are going to be marrying the sublimation design to the rough side of the Easy Subly, all right? So now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the Easy Subly vinyl down just a little bit, okay? So I have, I'm actually going to just take my paper trimmer And then whatever is left over, I can save for another project. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Now I'm going to take my 12 by 12 cardstock, okay? And for the easy subly size, I just trimmed it down to 11 inches by 11 inches, all right? We don't even need it to be this big because we're going to be cutting this out anyway but i just want to make sure that my image is going to fit perfectly on to our easy subly so i just made it a little bit larger than the actual printed design so here's the easy subly what i'm going to do is i'm going to just peel the easy subly away from the backing okay just like this and then lay it on top of the car stock. What we have to do is we have to tag down the Easy Subly to the card stock first, and then we are going to take our printed image and then sublimate directly onto the Easy Subly. So right now, the car stock is serving as a backing for the Easy Subly vinyl. I'm gonna bring you over to the heat press and we're gonna tack this down. And then we are going to go ahead and sublimate the image onto the Easy Subly. All right, y'all, so here I am at the heat press. I have my heat press set at 400 degrees and I'm going to tack down the Easy Subly onto our car stock. Now, please be mindful that the temperatures for the Easy Subly per 
the website is 311 degrees but for me personally when i supplement the image 400 degrees for 50 seconds works best for me this is not my first time trying this technique out so this is what i find works best for me those times and temperatures work best for me so i'm just going to tack this down for about maybe uh, six seconds or so five seconds And what that does is that just bonds the easy subly to our cardstock, like so. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my image and I'm gonna just cut the edges off real quick. Scissors are nowhere to be found, like always. So I'm just use these scissors right here. I was looking for my bigger scissors, but of course, when I need them, <laughs> nowhere to be found. So I'm just going to trim off a little bit of this white extra space. I have too much white space. These little baby scissors. <laughs> and then I'm going to take my image place it down onto my heat press like so. Now from here, you can go ahead and add tape if you want. So I'm just going to add two pieces of tape, one at the bottom and then one at the top. And I'm going to press 400 degrees, 50 seconds. Five more seconds. All right, y'all, so let's see what we working with. Ooh, ooh. I gotta clean my heat press because there's some burning up here or some residue from my heat press. So I definitely gotta clean my heat press. But let's see how this is, how this looks. Can y'all see? Let me zoom y'all in real quick. And it is very hot, be careful. And that came out gorgeous. Woo wee. Y'all see those colors? Don't worry about this. This is this is from my heat press. I have to clean it, but we have to trim around this anyway. So, but let's get into these colors. Look at that. Yes. Okay, Wall of Sub dye sublimation paper. Yes. All right, so I'm going to take you back over to the table and we're going to continue our project. All right, y'all. So here we go. I have my paper trimmer. And now all I'm going to do is trim right at the edge of my design. Okay, I want a nice, clean cut. Nice, clean cuts right at the edge. Line that up and slice. All right, y'all, so now we are finished trimming off the edges of our grad cap topper. And this is what it's looking like, okay? So cute, like I, these colors, period, period. <laughs> All right, and this is the back. Got some little stuff there. All right. All right, so now what I'm going to do is cut off this little circle. If you have a die cutting machine, you can you could have used that to you know cut out your circle and cut out your whole entire grad cap topper, but to me, I find that this way is so much easier and quicker, especially if you have a lot of uh, orders this is the way to go. So courtesy of Shakia from Sillaholic Anonymous, she has helped me tremendously with this technique right here. So big shout out to you, Shakia. Thank you so much, girl. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take an X-Acto knife. You need an X-Acto knife for this. And I'm going to make a cross right in the middle of this white circle, okay? So I'm gonna take this
like that. And then like that. A cross, a X, however you want to paint that, okay? So we looking like this, all right? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and cut all around the circle, all right? The reason why we place this cross in the middle is because as we're cutting around in a circle, it will be easier and nice and clean to remove this white circle. And I'll show you in a moment, okay? So I'm going to start here. I'm taking my knife and I'm gonna just follow the circle. And as I'm going in the circle, I am moving or turning my topper, just like so. So now that we cut all around the circle, we could just easily remove those pieces. Okay, then we have our hole in the middle for our grad cap. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how it will look on an actual grad cap. Let me grab the cap real quick. So here I have the grad cap. I got this from off of Amazon, y'all. And I use this as samples. You know, I use this as, an, as a sample when I'm taking my pictures or if I'm you know, showing the customer how something will look, how their grad cap topper will look, okay? So this is my grad cap topper. And I can actually go in and clean this up a little bit better. So let me clean this. The circle part is really honestly not ne necessarily needs to be super neat because it's going to be hidden with the top of the cap anyway. So if your circle is not 100% perfect, I wouldn't be too concerned, but you want to try to make it as uh, close to clean as possible. So here we go. Fits beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. And that texture, that texture is amazing. It mimics the texture of the actual topper which the actual grad cap, I mean, which is bomb, y'all. Okay. All right, so now the next step is placing our adhesive onto the back. I use double-sided adhesive. I use um, the 3M adhesive. I ordered my 3M sheets off of Amazon. I believe they come five in a pack, 12 by 12. And I just trimmed them down to size so that I can apply it onto my grad cap topper. Please note when you are applying this tape to apply it towards the edge of the grad cap topper. I don't know what I was doing. I think I was distracted and I didn't do that. And that's it. All right, y'all. So here is my grad cap topper with the 3M double-sided adhesive, okay? Doesn't have to be perfect because it's not going to be seen anyway. I do send these out to my customers um, who do not purchase the grad cap toppers with the actual graduation cap. I send them out just like this, leave them some instructions and have them remove the backing of the 3M and then place it onto their grad cap. So, show you one more again. Take this, and I'm just going to remove the back end just to show you how nice it lays onto the grad cap. Then I'm gonna align that right on up with my actual grad cap. You wanna make sure that you place your grad cap topper in the right direction or advise your customer which direction that this needs to be adhered onto the grad cap. And once it's down, y'all, it's down. This 3M double-sided tape plays no games, okay? So that's what we looking like right there. I went to go grab the 
2023 tassel so I can show you how nice this looks. Put that right on in there like that. And there we go. So cute. So, 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 so cute. Okay. But it ain't going anywhere. All right, y'all. So here are the finished results. And I must say, I love it. I am obsessed with how this resulted. This Caesar Easy Subly HTV should not be slept on. Okay. I give this a 10 out of 10, hands down, period. If you love this video, please subscribe to my channel. Show your girls some love. And again, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Later.